Right, today I'm going to teach you how to solve this kind of trigonometry question and you will always see this kind of question at paper 2. So they ask you to find a number of solutions for x plus pi tangent 2x equals to 0 and then they give you a range for x is between 0 and pi. So you can see over here, this graph itself is y equals to 1 plus tangent 2x. So therefore, I need whenever I need to find a number of solutions, I need to have y and x. If you see carefully this equation itself, you doesn't have y uh, in the whole equation here. So what I want to do is I, I need to find a way to sub my y into here. So this is what I will do here is I will want to have 1 plus tangent 2x but this is pi plus tangent 2x. So the first thing is I know I do not want to have pi. So I will divide pi for every single one. I will divide pi here. I divided pi here. I divided pi here. Then I will have cancel it out. So I will have the tangent 2x and then x over pi, I will move to the other side, it becomes minus x over pi. And then I will need one more thing which is plus 1 in order to sub in the y's. Then so I will plus 1 for left and right. So if I have 1 plus tangent 2x is exactly the y, isn't it? So then now I can sub in the y. So my y equals to negative x over pi plus 1. But what you need to do next is you need to able to draw this straight line at this graph. Because you need to join both of them together, this is the reason why you will get this equation. So, in order to draw this straight line, it's actually quite easy. You just form a table by yourself. And then you insert some value uh, for it, x and y. So, normally what I would do is I would try to sub x equals to 0. When x equals to 0, I will get 1. And then I will sub in maybe x equals to pi. x equals to pi here, I have negative 1 plus 1, isn't it? Which is 0. Then I will plot these two coordinates at the graph here. So which is 0, 1, which is this coordinate here. And then another one is pi 0, which is here. And then what I want to do is, I, I will need to draw a straight line for it. I'll draw a straight line for it. And then after I draw this red color straight line, I need to find the intersection point, which is the meaning of number of solution. I have 1, 2, 3. So basically I have 3 intersection points. So my number of solution in this case will be 3. So this is my answer for this kind of questions.